What's up, people of YouTube? This is Mr. Bayany here. And today I'm looking at Forsaken World. And I know this game has been out for a while, but the reason I'm looking at it is because it's new on the the new Steam's Steam's new uh, free-to-play section. This game is an MMO, and obviously it's free-to-play. And uh, it's all right. I think it's uh, as always games are going to be compared to WoW in the MMO category. But this game seems pretty fun so far. I'm a level 13 dwarf. And um, there's a few interesting things about it and that WoW doesn't have. For instance, they have this fast travel system. Well, I call it that. But it's basically you an auto travel basically if you have something like a highlighted name in your quest log and you click it it'll auto route you to the destination I think that's pretty interesting that caught my eye because I'm pretty lazy and I don't like having to walk around manually all the time like in WoW um, one of the things about this game that isn't so great is that WoW basically you can go everywhere well, not everywhere, but a lot of places. In this game, you can't really do that. There's a lot of places that if you jump over, you'll get stuck on. Or I get hung up on stairs, actually. Every now and then I do. I've only been playing this game for three hours, though, so don't consider this a review. Uh, consider this more of a first impressions. And right now, I'm just killing some werewolves for a quest. I'm a dwarf marksman, and I think that's the only uh, class available for dwarfs. Uh, this game is free to play because it works off of, uh, I guess it's called a microtransaction system, and you spend real money on game currency. At least that's how I think it works. I could be wrong about that. But like I said, it's, it's kind of enjoyable. Uh, I wouldn't choose this game over WoW. And that's because WoW has a lot of things that I like more. And I've invested a lot of time in WoW. And as with any MMO, that's always a concern, is investing time. But, I mean, I'd try it out. This game is worth definitely worth trying out. I know I might be repeating myself because I'm double or multitasking right now. Let's see, two more werewolves and I'll go turn this quest in. Uh, the quests are kind of fun. I like them. Yeah. Like I said, it wouldn't be a good replacement for WoW. It's just uh, something to do every now and then that's free oops I do think this game has an economy see I'm gonna auto route to the quest giver there's a lot of walking around like most MMOs now, I'm not an MMO expert or anything. I've only ever played WoW, but I played WoW for a long time. Like five years. I don't know a whole lot about the instances or anything like that. But like I said, consider this a first impressions, not a review. I might play it a little more, but I'm probably not going to. If you um, open up your mini map or your main map, 
you can click and it'll auto route you to the other, another destination if you want to go there. I've been to the one of the main cities. I don't know how much there are in this game. Uh, this game is actually made by the same company, well, the company Perfect Worlds. Uh, one of the other things you can do that's pretty interesting is you can drag your toolbar wherever you want it. There's some pretty neat mounts in the game, too. And uh, towards the end of the video, I'll actually post some, some of the mounts I've seen. But I think the ones I've seen are just the ones that are really hard to get. Not exactly sure. Well, if I do decide to play more of this game, I'll post it on YouTube. Like, really, the only reason I'm doing this is because of... I said I would do a video, a first review, or a first impressions, I mean, of the new free-to-play section in Steam. So the next one I'll do is probably will probably be Spiral Knights. Or uh, maybe the military-style one. I'm not sure yet. I've already played a little bit of the Spiral Knights, and it seems okay. It seems something like it's fun to do with a friend. Like uh, Spiral Knights is really cartoony. I'm walking manually. I should be auto routing because I went to the wrong guy. Fail on my part. Well, the graphics seem pretty nice too for a free to play game. The trees look nice. Well, I think I'm going to end the video with me turning in this quest. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned if you want to check out more of these games that are free to play. Uh, pretty soon I'll be starting a new PS3 game, but I don't know which one yet. One of the newer ones, I guess. If I, if I sound tired throughout this entire video, it's because it's about 1 a.m. where I'm living. and I've been meaning to get this video out for, video out for a while, so that's why I kind of rushed it, but... Thanks for watching anyways, and uh, I'll leave you with me going back to the main town and showing you the, the mounts I saw.